Welcome or welcome back. So today we're going to be covering how to pick from a litter. I have nine puppies, so let's get straight into it. There are six different types of personality ranging from most dominant to the most submissive. The first one is the bully, rebel, independent thinker, eager to please, relaxed, and timid. So when playing, the bully does play roughly. They climb the walls. They tend to walk all over their siblings. They are fearless, intelligent, and stubborn. And I do have one of those in this litter. So they do have a strong personality and they wouldn't be best for owners that are rarely home or even with kids. They're gonna need a lot of socialization, training, interaction, physical, and mental stimulation. So the rebel, is adventurous, playful, charming, and extrovert. They are assertive, but they're not aggressive. And those are going to be best for people who have a lot of energy to burn, who have older children or even teens in their homes. Now the next one is independent thinker. They are sociable, fun-loving. They could be by themselves. They blend in very well. They can go with the flow. They are best for stable homes or homes with no kids or older adults. Now the next personality type is the ones that are eager to please. Those are the ones that are going to be super excited to interact with you or even get excited at the idea of interacting with you. They hate to be left alone, but with a lot of firm training and positive reinforcement, they make a great family pet. The next personality type is relaxed. A relaxed pup is not as energetic as the rest of their litter mates, but they are pretty balanced and they are good for any owners or any homes. Now the last personality type is the timid one and I have one of those. Timid ones are shy, completely submissive, they're sweet, they will need a lot of socialization in order to build up that confidence to be comfortable around other people or other animals. So future owners owners will need to have a lot of patience with the timid ones. And timid dogs tend to be best for people that are single or that don't have any kids. So some of the quick things that you can do to check how the dog is going to interact with you is you can pick him up and see if they wiggle around. If they wiggle around too much, then that means they weren't properly socialized. But if they wiggle a little bit and then they look at you and they calm down, then that means that they are good, well socialized. Another thing that you can do to check their comfort level is touch their mouths and their paws, their tails, and if they've been handled properly then they will have no problem with that at all. You can also call the puppy to you and if it's a quick response then they have a strong affinity towards people. You can do a quick health check, make sure that the eyes and nose are clear from any discharge, the puppy's weight is not over or under, their coat is thick and shiny, check their teeth and gums, make sure sure that there's no redness, it's all clear. Check their rear end and genital areas, make sure there's no redness or any discharge, which could mean a sign of infection, and it should be clean as well. Check their breathing, make sure it's quiet, they're not coughing or sneezing. Look at their run, their walk, there's no limping or stiffness, and those are just quick tips on how to pick the litter. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in one by one to see how each individual puppy is. Is. I have some food they haven't eaten yet and we're gonna see if they're food motivated play motivated I have some toys here so we can test how they react to certain noises as well these are all gonna be new to them we're gonna see how they do with that I'm also gonna link down below some good videos that you guys can also check out as well that I've learned some information some tips